This is a time we need to ascend. We not only need to press through. Many people want to just put their head on the press through. No. The Lord is saying lift your head and come up hither. Not in pride. Lift your eyes to the hill from which comes your help. Every day you don't get what you've done, he showed you mercy. And it's new every day. And you dare worship anyone but him. And by him I mean Jesus. Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, the only living God. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach Pure Voice, Not an Echo. For those of you who do not know me, I am Ambassador Chantrell Davis. I have been on a recording spree today, and I'm just going to continue forth. I'm going to begin with a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you that I'm alive at such a time as this, Father God. I thank you that I awake because you sustained me, Father God. I pray, Father God, as I yield to the Holy Spirit, who is my paraclete, for I'm speaker of this house, I yield to the speaker of this house, Father God. For the, As the minister of this message, I yield to the speaker of this house, Father God. Awaken in me a pure heart and a pure mind that I have pure expression, Father God. Make me a holy conduit by way you are able to move through me to get to the people, Father God, that I rightly divide the word of truth and love, Father God. Let the burden remove and yoke destroy and anointing go forth with every word, Father God. And I pray that you bear welcome to the word of your grace, Father Father God, that this wherever this word goes, Father God, that your spirit is felt, Father God, that seed is sown, Father God, and that that seed will remain and it will bring forth much, much fruit, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I decree that this word will go forth unhindered and unchecked by any outside force, Father God. It will not be hindered, delayed, detoured, or denied, Father God. In the name of Jesus, it will accomplish where unto it is sent, Father God. In the name of Christ Jesus, Father God, I thank you, Father God, that every weapon formed against me this day, Father God, would not prosper and every tongue rising against me and judge it. I condemn it right now. Father God, I pray great receptivity over their ears, Father God, receptive hearts and receptive minds, Father God. God. In the name of Jesus, every demonic force, Father God, that was set loose to deceive, Father God, to stop those from hearing this word and this word of truth, Father God, I bind them up. They are dismantled in the name of Jesus. I decree that the mischief they plan, they will not be able to perform, Father God. I decree and declare great receptivity, Father God. This word will go forth where it is sent, Father God. It will reach those who, has, who it is intended, Father God, and it will be received, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. It is anointed. It goes forth, Father God, with power and with might, Father God, according to your word. And all those who have arrayed themselves against me, Father God, and against those who will hear this word, Father God, you said those who gathered against us are not by you or you will cause them to fall for our sake. So I command every person, every place, everything, every entity, every action, Father God, every even every word, Father God, through any wholesome entity in any realm and any dimension that is uttered, muttered, enchanted in any tongue, any language, any realm, any dimension against us. I command those words fall to the ground. Boy, the mischief they plan, they will not be able to perform, Father God. Do according to their own envy, their own hatred, Father God. Let the traps that they set become their own, Father God. For the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. So we thank you, Father God, that we shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord, Father God. In the name of Christ Jesus, I seal this prayer. I thank you and I say amen. Okay, beloved, I'm getting right into this. There's a couple in power wins that you really need to watch. The Lord about to do some mighty things in these children, even from the womb. He's about to start baptizing children in the womb. They will be enacted to act even from the womb. He's going to fortify them with the Holy Spirit inside their mother's womb because the excuse me, because the enemy is not playing fur. In which because he don't care about fur. He prefer for you to be ignorant. He he prefer for you to be ignorant. Okay? This message right here, just like there's encouraging words, and there's, there, there's a woe. And I'm going to keep saying what the Lord said. Rejoice, O ye righteous, for it shall be well with you. Woe to the wicked, for it shall be ill for you. I got a whole message on that, and that's going to be coming too. Whether it's today or another day. Peep watch for it, because there's a lot of words going forth, um, and the Lord is not playing. I've told you this before. Many of you, the Lord has given time. People proclaim, they follow your channel, they hate, they thumb down, they sow discord, they share videos of other people and plant doubts in other people's mind, divide us. And, oh, I should have found that scripture. And because judgment is, de is delayed, they're fully set in their heart to do evil. They think they're untouchable. The Lord is merciful. That's why it ain't going to be no remedy for you when it hit. That's why it takes the Lord, they don't take him long, that's why he chooses you think he's slack? He's not slacking his promise. Even with what he done told you, he's going to give you good. But those of you who done done evil, you done lied, you done connive, you share videos, you plant thoughts, you plant doubts, you gossip, you lie, you do people wrong. All this different stuff you've gotten away with, time is up. You done heard me say it more than once. And it's not going to be with warning and sudden your whole life going to change. It's going to be sudden. It ain't going to be no gradual crawl to it. Your life going to change so quick that you're going to know you got hit by the Lord, says the Lord. You're going to know that it's I, the Lord, who hit you is what he said. That's in scripture too, but I'm, I got to flow out of the spirit, y'all. He didn't give you time. 
So this is a message that you can either nullify yourself at all with or prepare yourself because you're the one going to get hit. Okay? Because if you're the one on the receiving side of this versus the one who's being, being violated against, this is good for y'all who's being continually violated against. And I ain't talking about the war is me from where you running around with your soul wounds taking everybody against you because you ain't healed. Because it's a lot of y'all too. You can't trust nobody. You're you creating your own forest. Them are not the ones I'm talking about. You are living righteous. You ain't got your mouth on people. You ain't lying, conniving, cheating, living double-minded, double-tongued, listening to gossip, out there in the world, doing what the world do, coming and raising your hand in church. You are living a holy life, and you are striving to enter into the straight gate. You are doing right by people privately and publicly, and they won't stop talking about you because people stick at their mouth on you in private, okay? You heard me say something about that before. They're going to still be talking about you, but the context about the shame change. But this one, they not going to be shut. They're going to be scared to even bring you up. They mouth gonna be closed. That's a difference. The context of the conversation gonna change is what he said in the all aboard message. And the fire, uh, the all aboard and the um firewall message. But they mouth about to be stopped. Those who mouths are about to be stopped against you. Let me, let me tell you the name of this message. For those who tear you and have ceased not, time's up. He says, Behold, I have enacted. I told you to keep using that word enacted, and I'm going to tell you why. Now I know what it means. I said, why am I hearing enact? All right, I haven't acted. We don't speak like that. Those who tell you and cease not. That's what it means when you see in the scripture when he said they gnashed on them with their teeth. They wasn't biting them. They were talking about them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you hear what she doing? Oh, I heard she said this. Oh, he said this. Oh, he said that. Girl, I think they're talking about you. Oops, he was talking about you. Oh, she said this. She repeated. Gnashing on you with their teeth. They won't keep, keep you out of their mouth. The Lord said, time's up. You're over and your own business. You're doing right by people, and they won't keep you out of their mouth. Even people that don't know you. And most of the people's families talking about them don't know them because they ain't even been around them all their life. They don't even know them. Anybody who got their mouth on you. So if you're on the side where you, yeah, some of y'all are going to be watching, sowing discord, sending videos to people, lying to people, causing issues, to people who are weak enough to go for it because they, they had their own wounds. Some of y'all going to tune into this. And you going to know it's you. It's not the only ones. Because they, 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 you, you, people that talk about you like to watch you. And people who so discord like to come watch people. What did I tell you the Lord so, showed me? That they follow the ministry dividing because they see belief. They're seeing change in people. They see belief. So the enemy has to set attack against a place that's going to cause growth. That's why this ain't no popular ministry channel. Because revelatory word delivers masses. I know people want the dynamics of the casting out the devils, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But revelatory words deliver masses. Because I got so much testimony for y'all. Because just holy living and receiving correction will make devils leave you. I can, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna literally give a testimony on that, because as the Lord was cleansing me up, some of them would just depart in the night. I would just feel them leave, because the cleaner you get, the closer you get to God, they can't stay. They just start leaving. It always take all the dynamics. They start departing. Your holy life will make them leave you. Yes, some that y'all got dormant in y'all that y'all have no clue still there. I got testimony on that. It had been years, and He showed me which one it was. And some of them are stronger. Took a longer for them to leave. The closer you get to God, you get elevated. They just start leaving. It don't always take people laying hands, spitting and throwing out and falling out on the floor. Man, oh, you just get tired of it. But the Lord has cleaned me up. Because I would never just ghetto. But everybody got a side that you don't want to see mad. Oh, she's so nice. So she's so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chantrell Nequa. She don't live here no more. But everybody's able to move forth in fire, but it's not by that old name, okay? You move forth by the fire of God, okay? <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Uh, let me get to this word, because this is a serious word, y'all. So I don't want y'all to think this word ain't serious, because I'm sitting there laughing a little bit. Because it's been a long days already. I've been moving continually since we got to this location. I mean, it's been continual. You have no idea. Um, you know how the Lord, he will grace you to move forth in the things he's given you. 
You know, I'm out there cooking multiple meals, washing clothes and typing messages and, 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 and cleaning up at the same time. And he anoints you to do it. He not going to, if he called you to do it, he has to enable you to do it. And if it's his will for you to do it and it costs money, it's his bill. He going to make sure you got it. Don't ever be ashamed. He said men and women will give into your bosom to make sure you can do what you need to do. Again, those who tell you and have ceased not, time's up, says the Lord. This is prophetic. This is a now word. Behold, I have enacted. And I'm going to tell you why he kept using the word enacted. Jeremiah 1 and 12. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen. Y'all can read that whole chapter of Jeremiah because this is verse 12. For I have hastened. He said, I will hasten my word. He's about to hasten his word against them now. To perform it. And now I'm going to read Ezekiel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For, uh, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and I will perform it. He said, I will say it, and I will perform it, said the Lord. It's about to be quick up on them now. The years, it's people didn't have their mouth on me for years. Y'all have no idea. The Lord will let you go through. And it's all because of the end game. Well, I had to stand in the court, and I mean, I got lied on with things y'all have no idea. That people should never be accused of doing that they didn't do. You should never be lied on. But people should never say stuff like that. when you, you I, And I, I sat there, and the Lord said, don't say a word. And I just stood up straight. The Lord yeah, came out victorious, too. But y'all have no idea. These people uh, will continue to put their mouth on you. And the Lord says, enough. So this word... It's quickened this day. He said, I will keep you in a constant state of what I'm doing and saying. This is a quickened word. Those who have turned you, tell you and cease not, time's up. Behold, I have enacted. Jeremiah then said the Lord unto them, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. He is about to perform it. I'm going to tell you what perform means. Whoa. Ezekiel 12 and 25. For I am the Lord. I will speak and the word shall come to pass. He said, O rebellious house, I will say the word and it, and he said, I will say it. And I will perform it. Okay? As I empowered, as I empowered why he gave me the word in act. He said, I have enacted. And he right here, you he said, I will hasten to perform it. The definition of the word in act. To act out, to represent, or to perform. Okay? And I'm going to break down the word perform. That's why he said, I have enacted. To act out, to represent, because the Lord like you to see his goodness, see his glory. He like you to see, they're going to see him raise you up right before their eyes. That's his performance. You will raise yourself up, he lifts you up. He's performing it. He like you to see, look at what, I'm the Lord. Yes, he likes to perform. And not like they call perform, like he don't like no show. But he do like to put on a show. Okay? To order. This is also what perform means. To order by virtue of superior authority, a decree. This is what it means to perform. This is why he gave me an act. The, ne the next definition. Okay. Many, because I kept saying an act is like passing the bill in the Congress. He said uh, many think, and this is why I put this out, many think pa uh, of passing a bill when they hear the word an act. But an act also means to perform. That's why he gave me the word in act. To order by virtue, he going to do it by virtue, swiftly, he shall perform it. He's going to put on a show for you, for them. Lifting you up, behold the goodness and the severity of the Lord. Now let's look at the definition of perform before I get into the scripture. Perform a function, that means anything. Anything you need done. What did I tell you in the all aboard message? He said facilitation, because even how we got in this place was facilitated. It's a situation that just shouldn't have happened. It looked like a misunderstanding, but it was facilitated. Okay? Carry out. To carry out or perform an action. To give a performance of something. To get something done. To carry it out. To execute it. He's going to execute it. He's going to carry it out. He said, faith, for, faith was he who called you also would do it. He said, I'll do it. You just faith. You just trust him. He said, I'm doing it. To discharge. But I can take that in two ways. Because discharge is like a double meaning word. To discharge angels. That means to set them loose on your behalf. To discharge finances. To set it to a... To, to discharge... And then to discharge debt. 
to write it off. Y'all have to really take y'all time and read these words. Okay? Because they mean more than one thing, and he mean all of it when he speaks it. Okay? To bring about, to bring off, to accomplish, okay? To achieve, to fulfill, to complete, to conduct, that means business, anything that concerns you. To effect, he going to affect everything concerning you. And he going to affect everything concerning him. Behold the goodness. But everything he affect concerning you going to be good. And everything that's going to be affected concerning him is about to be a woe to their bad. Okay? To effect, to dispatch, to work, to implement. That means to facilitate. He going to implement it. Line it all up for you. Because everybody know what implement. Uh, see, I can keep breaking down these words. You can never stop dissecting. To implement is a way of going about and doing things. That's how he makes known to you his ways. He's going to implement it. He's going to line it up and implement it. This is the order of it, and it's going to flow smoothly because he implemented it before you. Okay? Uh, to pull off, to stage, to put on, to present, to mount. Y'all have to really pay this word. It also means to enact, uh, to present, to do, and to produce. Prophetic word, those who tell you and have ceased not. Time's up. Behold, I have enacted. This said the Lord thou hast seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. This is the foundation scripture. He's going to perform it. And he said those who are rebellious against you, um, you can read this in Ezekiel 12 and 25, and he will, he will speak the word and perform it. Now the Lord has enacted. He said, I have enacted. He's enacted against them now. That's what he seen when he said he stretched forth his hand against. He's enacted against them now. Those who turn you and they have ceased not. And we're going to get to the scripture. Psalms 35 and 15. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves against me. Read the whole Psalm 35. That's a, that's a good, that's a good imprecatory prayer scripture. Okay? But in my adversity, they, rejo they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me. And I knew it not. These people are still gathered against you, whether you know it or not. But the Lord sees. He said, I who made the eyes and I who made the ears, shall I not see, shall I not hear? The, you can't see them, but the Lord been seeing them. These people that's gathered against you, that you don't even know, y'all. And the Lord is tired of it. That's it. He said, they gathered against me and I knew not. They did tear me. This is where this message came from. And they ceased not. That means they've been doing it. But they won't cease. They keep doing it. Year after year. Month after month. Year after year. The Lord is done with it. We're going to read uh, the word of scripture. Psalm 35. As imprecatory, I like reading it in the witch calling, because this is a right now, this is a quick right now word. Those who have tore you and cease not. This is what, it's a, what he, said, he said, I have enacted. What's going to be enacted against them? This is what y'all need to realize what's about to be enacted. That's why I read that scripture. I read verse 15 first. Now I'm going to read you the whole Psalm 35. What has been enacted against them is Psalm 35. He gonna do according to their own envy and anger. Everything they've everything they've enacted against you, everything they've said against you, everything they thought in their heart against you, everything that they've laid before you, everything they implanted in other people's heart about you, is gonna all turn in on them. When the Lord said, "Behold, I have enacted," what have He enacted? Psalm thirty-five. I'm gonna read it to you because this is His whole message. This is what is about to be brought upon those who have tore you and ceased not. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. This is David at first. Fight against them that fight against me. But every word that he is proclaiming is what's going to be against the people who have tore you and ceased not. So therefore, those who strive with you are going to be strove against. Those who fight against you are going to be fight against, but it's going to be the Lord doing it. So I want you to take this. The words that the Lord is praying for the Lord, the word that David is praying for the Lord to do is what the Lord has enacted against the people who have tore you and ceased not. So I want y'all to understand how I'm reading this. That what he is saying is what's going to be enacted against them. This is what the Lord showed me. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. The Lord is going to stand up for your help. Draw out also the spur and stop the way against them that persecute me. He's drawn out a spur against them. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. He's saying unto you, I'm your help. I'm your salvation. I'm your safety. I'm your champion. I'm your protection. I'm your guard. I'm your I'm your uh, uh, resource. Okay? That's what it means by I'm your salvation. Everything you need, 
The Lord said, I am to you. This is what he's saying to you. Those of you who this applies to, you've you been getting talked about and talked about and talked about. He, he says, say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. This is what the Lord is saying to you. I am your salvation. I am your help. Keep your eyes on me. Verse 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame to seek my soul. They're going to be confounded and put to shame. Okay? Uh, yeah, that, that. Uh, let them be brought to confusion. Let, no, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. They're going to be confounded and they're going to be brought to shame that seek after your soul. That means your well-being, your thought, because your soul is your thinker, your feeling, your chooser. So they, they're, they're affecting your thought life. They're affecting your heart. They're affecting your emotions by the way they treat you and what they're doing and what they're sending forth against you that you cannot see. Okay? Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my hurt. They're going to be turned back from wherever they came. And brought to confusion. Okay? They're going to go back to their little corner. Okay? Let them be as chaff before the wind. They're going to be tossed with the wind. Every wind of doctrine. Every wind of life. They over here. They over here. They over here. They're going to be like chaff before the wind. That means they're just being blown everywhere. Okay? And let the, let the angel of the Lord chase them. Okay? The angel of the Lord is about to pursue them. Okay? Let the angel of the Lord... Chase them. Let them pursue them. That means he's going to pursue them. He's going to torment them. He will chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. Their way will be dark, which means they'll never know where they're going. They're going to always wonder where they're supposed to be. And they're going to be slippery. They're going to seem to fall in everything they do. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. The angel of the Lord will persecute them. This is coming from the Lord now. For without cause, because they've done this to you without cause. I ain't talking about people where well, you've been in there with it and you back and forth and you doing stuff to them and they doing stuff to you. This ain't for y'all. If you've been acting on your own trying to get back at people that's getting at you, this ain't for you. These are those of us who waited on the Lord and we kept our gaze straight. We did not return to them what they did to us. We did not put our mouth on them. We didn't try to get back at them. We kept our gaze straight and we worshiped. Because that's another message I got coming. But just like when Saul saw that uh, David had an excellent spirit, he feared him more. Because he dealt wisely. That means I ain't going to return. David didn't return what was being done to him. That's dealing wisely. Because you're more powerful. Somebody think they tell you off, don't you respond? So by the thing on you, don't you respond? You have to be the respondent right because this is not for everybody. Because very few people keep their mouth shut and gaze straight while people are doing serious hurt to them. Okay? Very few. Okay? For without cause they have hid from me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. It shall become their own, says the Lord. Let destruction come up on them at unaware. Destruction is coming up on them, and they're going to be unaware. It's going to hit them literally like a car crash will hit you. When you're expecting a car crash, that's how destruction is going to come up on these people. Okay? At unaware. And let the net that they have hid catch them. Yes. Into the very destruction, let them fall. This is upon the people who have tore you and ceased not. And that means you ain't, you ain't returning nothing they ain't done to you. Very few, because very few know how when you revile, he reviled not. And when, when, when somebody came against him, he threatened not. You don't know who you mess with. No, none of that. Gay straight. Okay? Okay, let me go, uh, uh, come up with other words, because this is, this is literally what he's about to enact. So I don't want to leave none of it out. And my soul shall be, okay, he says, and let destruction come up with them in other words. And let the net that they have here catch themselves into the very destruction. And let them fall. And this is your soul. And this is how you should be when the Lord is fighting for you. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. Rejoice while he's fighting for you. Not rejoice at them. Rejoice in the Lord for fighting for you. Don't be proud or don't be glad to see them fall. Because they're going to fall. Don't be like, yeah, that's what you get. No. Rejoice in the Lord. Lord, you are my Savior. You are my help. Thank you for fighting for me. Dear God, my deliverer, start praising him. Okay? Because I already know what the scripture said. You get the rejoicing at, the, at, at, at what's happening to them. He will turn his wrath away from them. There's scripture on that too, but I'm flowing out of my spirit to put you in remembrance of it. Okay? When you see it happening, don't be happy and rejoice that they're falling because they're going to fall. Okay? And, and let your soul rejoice. Verse 10. All my bones shall say to the Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witness did rise up. Y'all have no idea. Lied on, videos circulating, people sending emails, lying and showing the score. Time's up. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things I knew not. They said stuff about you, you don't even know what's going on. These are y'all, y'all, you, you so busy working for the Lord, you don't even know what's going on. Okay? 
They rewarded me evil for good. You've been nothing but kind to people to the spoiling of their soul. They're trying to spoil your soul. Get you heavy in your heart. Take your song away and your focus away. That's the spoiling of your soul. But as for me, when they were sick, but yeah, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. Okay? I humbled myself with fasting and prayer. So when they were sick, you fasted and you prayed for them. And they still talking about you. He said, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. Because that's what happened. When people over there talking about you, I want y'all to catch this. I want y'all really to catch this. He said, I humbled myself in fasting and prayer, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. Because when they over there talking about you, they can't even receive the benefits of the prayer you're doing for them. Okay? Verse 14. I have behaved myself as though they had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourned their mother. This is how hard this man was praying for him. And Lord knows I pray for people like that. With hypocritical markers, but while you praying for them, with hypocritical markers at feast, they out going out to eat, and are feasting on the internet, call coming together on webcams. We gonna we gonna talk spiritual and physical meals. But with hypocritical markers at feast, they gnashed up on me with their teeth. That's what it means. They talking about you, Lord. How long? He's heard this cry. How long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their destruction and my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. Your job is to praise him. I will praise thee among much people. Talk about how good and everything he's delivered you from. Give him glory. Don't rejoice that they've fallen. Start praising him for, for, for helping you and being your help. You have to come from the right hand, not from the left. And that's the way of thinking. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. He's not going to let them rejoice over you no more. They think they see you falling. They think you don't have this. They rejoicing over you. And that means for them to be over you too. No more. Neither let them weep with their eye that hate me without cause. That's because they like, they weaken. Like, yeah, look what's happening to them. They enjoy seeing what they think you're going through. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. You are quiet in the land. And they the plotting. And this is not only the individual people that's coming against you. It's the governments and different things that are doing things. They are plotting against the people. The Lord is going to protect you from that too. Okay? For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, our eyes have seen it. This is this thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silent. He said, I'm not going to keep it silent no more. He said, I have enacted. O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself. He has stirred himself up. And awake to my judgment. That means he's judging between you and them. Even unto my cause. And everything that show cause, which means everything that concerns you. My God, my Lord, judge me, O Lord, according to your righteousness and let them not rejoice over me. He's judging you according to your righteousness. You've been over there in a righteous stand and you have not reached your hand forth and the Lord judging you and he's judging them. I'm judging between you and them. You've been over here righteous and minding your own business and they over there got their mouth on you. That's what the scripture means right here, okay? Don't let them rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we would have it. That means they're over there glad to see you down. They think they see you without. They think they see you hurt. When other people reject you and, and loud you and they shrug you out, they're over there rejoicing and saying, yeah, they like seeing it. That's what this scripture means. Don't let them say that's how we would have it. Okay? He said, let, uh, he said, let them not say in their hearts, so we would have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. They think they just swallowed you up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion. They will be ashamed and brought to confusion. Together, that means all of them congregated together, that rejoice at your hurt. Those who like to see you being rejected, pushed out, talked about, because that's hurt too. Whether they're talking about you, whether you got stuff, and people over there lying on you, they're talking about you, they got something about you, other people saying they hate you, thumbing down you, all the stuff that can be considered as you being hurt. They're rejoicing at it. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor. They're going to be clothed with shame and dishonor. They magnify themselves together against me. Okay? Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. I mean, there's people that's really praying for you. It may be few, but the ones that rejoice every time they see you come up, they're going to come up with you. Okay? They're going to rejoice and be glad if they're of God. Okay? He said, but let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and thy praise all the day long. So you're going to be praising him. Your job is to praise him and thank him for everything you bring out. Not look at him points out, that's what you get. Praise him because he's about to bring you out right before their eyes. Those who have torn you and ceased not. The Lord is going to bring you out right before their eyes. But everything, this is why I had to read scripture for scripture. Because everything that this, this uh, Psalm 35 says is what's been enacted. It's what he's about to perform. That's what that means. He said, I have enacted. 
Everything in Psalms 35 is what he's about to enact against those who have tore you and ceased not to keep their mouth on you, okay? Oh, yeah. I'm going to still read this in the message version just because I want to. Okay. Harass the helpless God. Punch these bullies in the nose. I'm going to read it because it's plain language. This is still Psalms 35. I'm reading a uh, message. Harass these hecklers. God, punch these bullies in the nose. Grab a weapon, anything at hand. Stand up for me. Get ready to throw the spur. Aim the javelin at the people who are out to get me. Re reassure me. Let me hear you say, I'll save you. That's what you mean by I'm your salvation. Anything that saving means, he is. When, the, when those thugs try to knife me in the back, make them look foolish. When they try to knife you in the back, they're going to look foolish. Frustrate all those. Everything they do is going to be hard. Frustrate all those who are plotting my downfall. Make them like cinders in the high wind. They're going to be blowing. With God's angel working with the bellows. Make the road lightless. That means they're going to be dark and mud slick. They're going to be sliding around in the dark. With God's angels on their tails. The God angels will pursue them. Out, out of sheer, out of sheer cussedness. Custness. I ain't never heard that word. They set a trap to catch me. For no, for no good reason, they dug a ditch to stop me. Surprise them with your, with your ambush. He gonna surprise them with his ambush. Catch them in the very trap they set. The disaster they planned for me, catch them in. But let me run loose and free. Celebrating God, God's great work. You gonna run loose and free and celebrate his good work while they getting towed up. Every bone in my body laughing and singing. God, there's no one like you. This is what I said. Your job is to rejoice. You put the bullies out. You put the you put the you put the down and out on their feet and protect the up. Up protected. Yeah. You put the you put the down and out on their feet and protect the unprotected from the bullies. Hostile accusers appear out of nowhere. They stand up and badger me. They pay me back misery for mercy, leaving my soul empty. They leave you empty to the spoil of your soul. They empty you out. You praying for them, just emptying yourself out, and they talking about you. When they were sick, I dressed in black instead of eating. I prayed. My prayers were like a lead in my gut. Like I would lost my friend, my brother. I, I, I paced. Distraught as a motherless child hunched over a heavy hearted. But when I was down, they threw a party. All the nameless riffraff of the town came chanting insults about me like barbarians. And that's what they do. This disgrading me as a shrine. They destroyed my reputation. Lying on you and talking about you. Making people believe that you, you are doing ill when you're over here just minding your own business. And people are hating you because of what they're doing. Hating you because of what they're saying. And you're not even doing anything. The Lord says enough. God, how long are you going to stand there being or uh, doing nothing? Save me from these brutalities. Everything I've got is being thrown to the lions. I give you, I give you full credit. When everyone gathers for worship, when the people turn out in force, I will say hallelujah. Don't let these liars, because that's what they are. He's the, the, the devil is the liar, the father of lies. They're liars. My enemies have a party. At my expense. They're over there kicking it. Glad that they, cause they, they glad that they didn't got people turning on you. It ain't always send you without. They got everybody against you. They rejoicing at that. Those who hate me for no reason. Winking and rolling their eyes. They winking and rolling their eyes. and back, back. You know, you got to speak through media language too. Thumb down in your video. Lying and showing your video. Talking about you and, and planting doubts in other people's mind. He said they're over there winking and rolling their eyes. No, no good is going to come from that crowd. They spend all their time cooking up gossip, gossip against those who mind their own business. You over there minding your own business. And the glory on you. The shining and the light on that darkness in them. Because the messages that he give preach people what's not the echo and the words and the way he's caused you to live. They try to put out your truth so that they can feel good living in their lie. Let me keep going. They open their mouths in ugly grins, mocking, ha ha ha. They're laughing and over there talking and smirking. And they thought they would get away with it. We've caught you, hands down. Don't you see? That they are doing what they're doing, God. You're not going to let them get away with it, are you? Not going to walk, you're not going to let them walk off without doing something, are you? This is in plain language. Verse 23 through 26. Please get up, wake up, tend to my cause. And then what did I tell you the word in act mean? 
to defend your cause. He said, I have an act, says the Lord. My God, my Lord, my life is on the line. Do what you think is right. God, God, my God, but don't make me pay for their for their good time. Don't let them say to themselves, ha, we got we got him. We got uh, we got what we wanted. Don't let them say we've chewed him up and spit him out. L let those who are being hilarious at my expense be made to look ridiculous. He's going to make them look ridiculous. Okay? Make them wear donkey's ears. Pin them with the donkey tail. Who who made themselves so high and mighty? He's going to make them look ridiculous, so to speak. 27 through 28. But those who want the best for me, there's people who want the best for you. Let them have the last word. A glad shout, because they're going to rejoice when they see you come up. Them are people who really want to see you were good. And say over and over, God is great. Everything works together for the good of his servant. I'll tell the world how great and good you are. I'll shout hallelujah every day. Your job when it start happening is to praise him. Every time he, when you praise, when you see an enemy that's coming against you exposed, when you say, hallelujah, Lord, thank you for your defense, it's the intent of your heart he's going to understand. Because you're going to rejoice at him delivering you, but you're not rejoicing at their fault. But you're going to give God glory for defending you against those who are coming against you. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all got them in secret and you don't know. Okay? And the Lord will uncover it. A lot of people hating you without cause, in secret, got their mouth on you, showing the scorn, showing videos, talking about you at the family uh, get-togethers and albums and barbecues, and you over and minding your own business. That's why I had to read every scripture, because I'm telling you, that's the word of the Lord. Everything I just read is what he's enacted. When I tell you the name of this uh, message, that the Lord says, those who tell you and have ceased not, time's up, he said, says the Lord. Behold, I have enacted. And that's why I had to read to you what enacted meant. He has enacted. He will perform this against them. This is the word of the Lord. So rejoice, because there's been people over there with their mouth on you, and the Lord is going to cause them to shut up. He's going to make an open display of them because they have not ceased to keep putting their mouth on you, so on the scar, whether it's through the media, whether it's some, you, some of you minister on her, or whether it's at home in the houses of so-called friends and family members and at barbecues and parties or on the telephone. He says, enough. Those who have told you, they didn't put their mouth on you one too many times. And now the Lord has enacted. He's about to perform all that you read in uh uh, I just read in Psalm 35 against them, and everything it means for their life is what's going to come up on them. Your job is to praise him and glorify him for being your deliverance and your help, not to rejoice at their fall. And it's a heart thing. So I always ask the Lord to keep you with a pure heart and a pure mind, that your motives and even your rejoicing is pure. Okay? Grace be with you. Take this message before the Lord. Um, I got so many more coming, but I want to get these done because I wasn't going to start recording until next week, but I want to get a couple of them started here. Um, but share these messages because they are serious and somebody needs to hear this message. And if it's you that have been putting your mouth on people, even at this point, you can repent. The Lord shows mercy to whom he will. But if you don't humble yourself, then you say, Lord, give me all you got. And I'm telling you by the end, you're going to know it's the Lord who hit you. For thus says the Lord. Those who have tore you and ceased not, behold, I have enacted. Okay? He has enacted against them. That means he's been a rise to your help. He said, time's up. Time's up. I have enacted against you. And what has he enacted? Psalm 35. And everything that means for your life and for theirs. Grace be with you, beloved. I love you all. Sow into the good ground of preach be a voice, not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Word of God. 1 Corinthians 9.11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. 
www.thepatriotsradio.com to listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers visit www.preachbvne.webs.com also view messages on the youtube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash preach be a voice not an echo ministry also like us on facebook and follow us on twitter do the work of an evangelist watch it then share it beloved we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers grace be with you thank you for joining us today on preach be a voice not an echo we pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message until next time we encourage you to hang on to god's unchanging hand and preach grace be with you